Hi everyone and welcome back to Cassandra's Plants. Uh, today I'm going to be trying to take some babies off of this Hawthia. Um, I've had this for ages. I'm not sure which exact variety this one is. Um, I think it was a gift from my mum about two, three years ago and I basically left it alone. I water it maybe even less than month a month maybe when I remember but it seems quite happy the leaves are pretty stiff um, it's chucking out new middle ones there's another little one in there and yeah I think it's getting a little bit strangled in this pot so it's time to take these babies out I didn't even realize there was babies on it until I looked at it properly the other day so if I take it out of this you can see so look there's a big one there growing out the side this one here We've got another little one there, growing out the side again, and another one this side. So there's three good sized babies on there, and I think there's even a fourth little one hiding underneath. So what I'm going to do is, because this could probably do with a little bit of a spruce up of the soil and um, just be made a little bit happier, even though it's happy, I think it could do with some new soil and uh, just a little bit of a spring clean, if you like. So I did want to try and take it out in a pot, but I think it's going to be too fiddly because it's so um, hanging over. I'm actually going to do it this other little pot so I don't make a massive mess. I'm actually going to try and just take it out of the pot a little bit. So much more not making a mess. There we go. You can save all of this soil as well. So there we go. There's the babies. So I want to try and separate it as close as I can. That's one little one. Let's see how dry it is. The soil's just falling apart. So this one has got some good roots of its own. And you can see these roots poking off here and here. So I'm gonna try and get this one off. Keeping those roots attached. Try and do it the other way. with the roots attached, so that's good. So she's got some pretty hefty roots, this one. Where else? So we've got another baby here. Let's see if she's got any roots. So she's got a couple of long roots attached to her. Look, you can see this one snaking all the way around and I think maybe that one underneath, so we have a go. Uh, Moving this way. There we go. Oh, she's a bit tangled. There we go. So that one's got loads of roots. There we go. There it is. The fourth baby must have been attached to one of the other ones. I can't see it now. But there we go, we'll leave her in there for the moment. Let me see. Mm -hmm. no, it must have been part of that one. I think it was that little bit there. Okay. So we've got three decent sized babies of that. I hope we'll take. Definitely not another baby on there unless it's fallen off. No. So I'm going to repot her with all those roots, spruce up some of this soil and mix in some new stuff um, and uh, repot these ones. So let me go and uh, fill some pots and get some soil and I'll be back with you. So I've got my uh, cactus mix here. I've just used some of the soil from the mother plant and mixed in some uh, Miracle-Gro, 
um, cactus and succulent compost. Compost. Um, so I'm going to. I'm just going to do one of these. For now, I'll do this big one oh, with the roots. Got some decent roots on this one. Nice big baby. So hopefully. She will be very happy in her new home. I'm by no means an expert on cactus and succulents. This is purely from watching my own YouTube videos uh, or watching YouTube videos and um, just trial and error, really. So, I'm going to stick her in. Try and keep the leaves uncovered as best we can. Make sure she's in there nice and tight. There we go, that's one of the babies. So, it looks quite healthy, it's nice bright green. I probably will give it a little water, or maybe a mist, just to um, you know, start it off, because the soil is really dry. Um, but that's the first baby. Um, I might just repot the mum now as well. well. Let me do the other three babies, uh, the other two babies, and then I'll come back and show you what I do with the uh, mother plant. So there you go. I've done the other two babies. There you can see all three of them. So now, just mixed some of the existing soil with a bit more of the potting compost, the succulent stuff and the cactus stuff. Um, just get some of these lumps out. There we go. So. Hopefully she will be happy and I can leave her alone again. And um, she'll give me some more babies. Make a little hole. She's got some quite big roots. There we go. You can see she's got quite an established root system, which is good. So hopefully she'll um, be happy in this pot for a little bit longer. So I'm going to sit her quite high up. Take this twig out. Push some of these roots down a bit to make sure that they're all well covered. Spread it out a bit with my fingers and make sure she's nice and secure. that's it there you go so hopefully she'll be nice and happy in here just pushing the soil down a bit back in her pot with a bit more breathing space now to grow some more babies um, I'll give her a little mist as well just to get her going but she can go back straight in her white pot and these ones uh, will, I'm not even sure where they're going to live at the minute but they'll live somewhere and we'll see how they go. I'm sure I can do a checkup video um, in a month or so to see how they're getting on but fingers crossed they grow big and strong like this one. There we go. So that was my first attempt at separating babies and um, 
repotting a, a, a Horwathia. So um, if you've got any tips or any comments or any advice on what I should be doing next time or how I can make sure that these babies grow um, into lovely big plants, please let me know and drop a comment. Um, and again, if you like my videos, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. And if you want more regular updates, make sure you check out our Instagram as we've got daily pictures on there, not only of our indoor plants, but our extensive vegetable garden as well. Um, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you all soon.